hope you like it. If you do, and you're not subscribed, do so and hit the little bell to get your notifications. God bless. Today we're going to be making some tool holders for our uh, tool post. Uh, they can, we got some as five eighths. We want some with a three quarter slot in them. So we're going to be making us some today. And, uh, hope y'all enjoy. The dovetail uh, all the way through, and then we'll uh, we'll end up just cutting them in two after we get the dovetail on there. Me holding the camera, I ain't doing too good a job at keeping it on the part. Let me put it back on the stand here. Okay, we got her set up. We're going to be cutting the uh, dovetails now, so uh, here we go. We got the slot cut. We got it cut uh, uh, 4 16 deep, and we got it in the center of this uh, piece here. So here we go. Well, can't do that. The uh, Okay, we're near the end of this slot. I'm going to let y'all go, and when we get her uh, a little closer to being finished, we'll come back. Okay, uh, bring y'all back. To the next day, uh, we got a, we almost finished. We got a, I'm going to do a spring pass. It's uh, right at the dimension. But while y'all was gone, I had to change the cutters. I bought a cheap Chinese cutter, and it lasted about Ten passes that didn't burn. It didn't burn up. It just chipped. Them. And I'll show you uh, what it looked like. There's what it looked like after about. Uh, After about 10 passes, now well, you get what you pay for. I uh, I paid this one uh, uh, about uh, six or seven months ago before I started doing videos. It's a uh, bullet that uh, Randy Richards makes his. Uh, I used the dimensions that he had posted and. Uh, made that one. It works fine. I've uh, made a bunch of uh, 
of uh, tool holders for my mini lathe, and uh, this is the first one I've tackled with this one. So for the uh, grizzly, uh, I'm just going to. Uh, this is a little rough, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and make a like a spring pass on it. I'm going to take y'all around and show you my, I don't know if I've done this yet or not, I may have done this at the start of the video, but uh, this is my uh, power feed, this is a uh, motor off of a uh, Mercedes, and these are just, uh, uh, one day I'm going to take this apart, I think, and make a video and just tell how I made it. This is the controller up here I bought off on eBay. And this over here is the power supply. I got it covered up. So chips don't go in it. But it works real good. Alright, we're back. So we got set up to put that uh, uh, slot uh, about 15 thousandths relief in the middle of the operation we'll be doing is uh, sawing these little babies in two. So we'll probably uh, see you over the saw. Okay, we're back. We set up. We're taking a 25,000 off of this point right here on each side. That's just clearance for where it won't drag when the uh, goes on the two post holder. Decided to put a chamfer on the uh, sides.
Okay, they are all sawed in two. Ready to be squared up, slots cut, holes drilled and tapped. Thank y'all for stopping by. If you ain't subscribed, please do so and hit the little bell to get your notifications. Again, thank y'all and God bless. We over here at the saw now, we're going to cut these things uh, 1 inch 900 and then square them up. The old blocks are just 1 inch 750, but uh, since we had a 10 inch piece, we're just going to make them a little taller and uh, it won't make that much difference because all that makes any difference is where you put the slot and it's got to be uh, about 400 thousandths off of the bottom. So here we go. Well, we got them all cut in two. Now we're ready to square them up, put the slots in them, drill the holes and tap them, and uh, we're getting ready to use them. Uh, this is the end of part one. I hope y'all enjoyed. God bless.